Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and we are back in my 125 year old gold mine that we're reopening. We've been drilling, blasting, mucking, getting a lot of good ore out of here. On the last video, we've just done a blast. And so now the hard part begins where we got to start mucking and getting everything out of the stove, down the rays, through the haulage way, and into the truck, down to the mill so we can get the gold out of it. Here's our sandbag pile. I estimated there's about between 200 and 250 sandbags here, which is about five to six tons. Here's our little cart. We're reusing their old rail up here in the stope. So I can load about eight or 10 bags on this cart. And then I will push it down the rail to Harry. Each bag weighs about 40 to 50 pounds. And just get them loaded on. How much, Harry? Eight we like, or ten? Uh, ten. Nine to ten. Nine to ten. It's up to your leg power. Yeah. Well, since we're on camera, we gotta make it look good. Now, it gives the real work. Yeah, now comes the fun part. It's such a weird feeling to be in this mine and to be able to use this same track that the old miners put in. They used it, they moved muck with it. And now 100 years later, we're doing the exact same thing on the exact same track. It's a really unique feeling, it's like being part of history. I'm writing a new chapter for the mine. Mine operator's here helping me. And we, we're all just kind of continuing the story. And it's a really unique situation to be able to open this underground mine and have it produced again. First leg's about 100 feet or so. And we got a little drop down to the transfer leg. We can get our bags to about there on the old track. It's got about a 10 foot walk and a chute. We got a sandbag hung up there now, but the chute goes down right to our transfer way. And then we have another little rail system over to our rays. All right, Harry's gonna bring a bag over from the cart. We got a little slit in our netting here. There we go, right down to the bottom where Chad's at. And he can put them on the cart and rail in the transfer way. Works good. So that's our first transfer from the stope rail down to the transfer way rail. And here's Chad loading the cart in the transfer way. Here's our top of our chute. Harry will send the bag down. Yeah. Right down here where we can load it. Getting the gold out of the mine. Getting the gold out of the mine, one bag at a time. <laughs> Love it. So once Chad here gets them loaded on the cart, we built some wooden rail here in the transfer way. And this is about another 100 to 125 foot little transfer here. Let's see if I can get out of the way enough. So here he comes. Bags are going to the top of the rays. Now we gotta get him down there. Yeah, now we gotta go down the chute. In our little buoy. Yeah. That's a great idea you and Harry came up with. Yeah, we'll Love take that. a we'll take a look at that buoy rigging situation here in a minute, but I can't tell if we're sailing or mining. <laughs> Sometimes it takes everything. <laughs> That's right, a little bit of every everything. Well, you may be asking yourself, what's this huge fender buoy doing underground? And we are going to try a new system where we cut a hole in that thing and use it as a skip bucket to send the sandbags down because the sandbags have been breaking and wearing sliding down the 50 feet of chute we got our hole cut out we cut less than more i think for our first try here but we're going to put a sandbag in there can we get a sandbag in there how does yeah, that work here you go okay <laughs> this is 
This is goofy, but man, it might work really, really well. Yeah! Well, look at there. I made it down just fine. Sand bag is safe and secure. Made it through the little tight spot now that we got a hole cut in it. Well, Harry's getting real ambitious now that he's got a new cart with casters. So he's gonna load 10 on that. And he said, well, hey, I've got another cart. So he's got 10 loaded on the other cart. He's gonna try and push them like a train. So Harry's gonna attempt the impossible here and push 20 bags down the rail to our first little ore drop. All right, Harry, I'm ready when you are. This, the rest of the this is either brilliance or insanity. Uh oh, those new casters are trouble, huh? Oh. Well, he's just determined now, he's not giving up. I think that's uh that's ten too many bags? Yeah. <laughs> worth a try. Uh, yeah? Well, the gauge is too tight right here for my cart. That one's easy breezy. I don't like these new wheels. Yeah, those new casters don't do so good, do they? I like those Harbor Freight cheapos. Yeah. Is that one spot? Yeah. Now you pass that. Well, there he goes. I better get in front of you, huh? Yeah. All right, the mission is don't go off the end of the rail here. Yeah, now you're in the, uh... Here it comes. Here goes the pipe. Okay. Whoa! Yeah. Whew. That was something. Yeah. Those casters are a bear. Got to wear them in a little bit. Yeah, I think the, uh, well, I cracked off a big offset layer back there, so I think once that's off, we'll be all right. Okay. Maybe uh, get a hammer and start pounding some of that offside off. That sounds like work. Yeah, one cart at a time. I think one cart at a time. <laughs> so this one, this cart here will go down the transfer way. That's right. Yeah. We are at the top of our raise now. We've got bags. Stacked. Chad's been working like crazy stacking all these bags. I'm trying to keep up with these guys. <laughs> they keep feeding me bags. Yeah, I'm surprised you kept up with us. All right, and this is our system for getting bags down the chute. It looks a little Willy Wonka, but it works really well for us. All right, Chad, show them how it works. All right, let's see. Can we clear below? All right. A buoy. A buoy. What an idea. Yeah, it works great. We were having problems with the, when we were just tying the bag onto the rope, it was coming down too hard and breaking the bags. So now we have the buoy, cut a hole in it, we can load a bag in there. All right, now make sure the rope is not around my feet. Yeah. There we go. Touched it. Buoy's at the bottom. All right, 84 more to go. 84 more to go. <laughs> 83, and then, actually. And then 175. <laughs> <laughs> If anybody has any better ideas about how to do this, leave me a comment below. I know it looks very hard, and it is, but this is the best the three of us could come up with. If you just send a 
bag right down the chute, it explodes, so you have to have some way to arrest it. And this rays twist and turn, so it's, it's not straight. That's right. It's not like what we have at our mine. That's right, it's not a straight shot. And it, it flattens to about 30 degrees and inclines to about 70 in different spots. So it's kind of a pain. But this is what we got. Every single bag goes down the rays this way. So we're a little ways down our rays. We've got our manway on this side. You can see Chad's light up there on the deck. I'm looking over into our chute side. All right, Chad, when you're ready. Now we're at the bottom of the chute here. The buoy comes down, hits those tires for a little cushion. This is right where our track starts and another cart. So three carts, three transfers, about a thousand feet, and it ends up in the truck. What do you say, Harry? I like this. <laughs> you guys are always smiling. I don't know what I can do to make you guys not smile, but so far, every job I've given, you're always smiling. We've had people tell us they didn't believe us, but we, we really like this all the time. This is the fun stuff for you, huh? If we're not happy and upset, something's really wrong. <laughs> all right, here comes the bag. Touchdown! Okay, up. Right on the cart. Up goes the buoy. Hundreds of times. We'll do this hundreds of times. The final bag for this trip. Now I will push this 550 feet out to the blacksmith shop. We put this wood track in and it went really quite fast, but I can push it with one hand and film with the other. The last 100 feet you want to kill yourself. It's horrible. <laughs> there's two, there's two big, big sweeping turns that you got to get through. It's horrible. Your arms are burning, your legs are burning. And this one's for my buddy Jeff. Who needs a gym? Just be a gold miner. Now when the truck's already loaded, we just stage our bags right here in the blacksmith shop. And we got an empty truck. We load them all in the truck and take them down the hill. About 400 to 450 pounds in a load. So about four. Probably uh, closer to five loads is a ton. Whew. Now we have a little push bar and a wedge. And I just push it right back to the bottom of the rays. Well, I wanted to show you our progress here between this stuff behind me. And then we've also got some stuff over on this side. We've got 86 bags down. And it took us a little over two hours. So that's right around two hours for two tons. So we're doing about a ton an hour. And that's all the way from the stope, all the way down the blacksmith shop. I'm pretty impressed with that. Mine operator is killing it, and we are really moving the muck today. Well, Harry says we're getting low on bags up here. So I thought I better come take a look. Oh, we got lots of bags still. This is not a lot of bags. <laughs> 
Oh, we just moved another hundred down to the top of the raise. Yeah, we're a little out of breath right now. <laughs> yeah, we've moved 186 bags so far. 86 of them all the way to the blacksmith shop. A hundred more to the top of the raise. Now we got to get those down the raise into the blacksmith shop. I've been dreaming about moving this waste pile too somewhere. I wasn't going to tell you guys, but... Yeah, well, if we get done with all the bags, we can move the waste pile, huh? Yeah. Oh, you mean there's more work to do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> always more work to do. I'll always find something to do. Absolutely. All right, let's go get these hundred bags down the raise. I like it. Sounds good. And for you guys watching at home, you're going to see us move 186 bags in about three or four minutes probably. But we've been doing this all day long. This is hours and hours and hours of work for us. And I just can't believe that these two are still smiling. They love it. They love every bag. Every bag is a new, exciting adventure for them. So I really appreciate mine operator. And I appreciate you guys watching at home because this is a lot of work. And I'm glad somebody's getting some enjoyment out of it. We are at the top of our raise. We have... 100 bags stacked here and we'll see if Harry can even make it over the hole. We've got a cart with 10 back there and I just left a little breather hole so we could sneak our way through. Now it's going to be my turn to do the, the buoy work and the other two guys are going to be at the bottom of the raise the way down there doing the cart pushing. When it finally clears up, we got some snow-capped peaks. Not a bad view from the mine portal. Well, it's the next morning here. We have mucked over 150 bags down to the blacksmith shop portal here. And I don't know about you two, but I feel like I was hit by a train last night. <laughs> I'm really sore. Chad, how you feeling? I'm sore. The hands are sore. But we're gonna get more out today. It's it's yeah. We still got a lot more bags. Harry, how you feeling? Uh, I'm pretty tired. Dude. I think everything hurts. Everything hurts. Yeah, yeah. everything hurts. That's perfect because now there's nothing that's gonna be worse tomorrow than that doesn't already hurt now. Yeah, right. Yeah, can't get any worse than this. <laughs> yeah, can't get any worse. <laughs> that's that's a good way to think of it. That's a good way. And we still have got over 100 bags up top, don't we? That we yeah. got to get out of the stove. Yeah. So we've got we've got some work still to do. But uh, we're gonna get some bags in the truck today and down to the mill. Here's the last handling of the sandbags before they get to the mill. This is taking them from the blacksmith shop into the back of the truck. You can fit about 35 to 40 bags in the truck on a pallet. And then we take them down and put them in the mill. This is, we just counted, this is the 10th time we've handled these bags. We've handled them 10 times to get them to here. I don't know if I'd advertise that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, for all those CrossFitters out there, this is the ultimate workout right here. This is the ultimate workout. Yeah, so needs, really, if we, get, if we get 10 tons down this season, we'll have moved 100 tons worth Good. of rock. <laughs> Craziness. This is our water. Our workout of the day always changes. <laughs> <laughs> it always has something to do with sandbags, though. <laughs> nice. I better help these guys. Well, I don't know. We also have another workout, and that's bringing the jack leg. Jack the legs. And down the raise. And drilling. And hand mucking. We're just, yeah. We've probably burned a million calories. Well, our sandbag pile is getting pretty low. But I wanted to show you this stuff. This is the stuff that I'm really, really excited about. This is all the larger pieces that we kind of picked out by hand. And I'm planning to slab this stuff up. But man, I just can't wait to get this cut up in the saw. Because remember, on the previous videos, I've talked about these little bands being really, really rich. So I just cannot wait to get this thing cut up. I've got probably 20 or 30 bags worth of this coarse material. And I don't know if I'm gonna have it up by the time this video is posted, but keep checking back on my eBay store because I'm gonna have a lot of the stuff up for sale, the coarse stuff, as well as some of the run of mine stuff. So if you wanna own part of Jason's new gold mine, either run of mine bags or some of this beautiful coarse stuff, 
some of it I'm going to slab up. Keep checking eBay because there will be stuff all fall, winter, and spring. New stuff coming on all the time. Right at the bottom of the rays, we have all the bags mucked out of the stove. We have about a hundred in the blacksmith shop, and there's 155 here that we need to take out the blacksmith shop. So I have a little over 250 bags, and I've got to haul down to the mill. When you're standing at the bottom of the raise here, you got about 20 seconds between bags coming down, and Harry was screwing around on that piece of gold down in the piss ditch here. And it's just, there's just gold all along there. When the water's running clear, it makes like a little bit of a sluice box. And you can see the gold pieces down there. So there's gold in this mine, that's for sure. Well, I just got some sad news the other day I wanted to share with you. I, uh, I lost a good friend of mine, passed away here last week. And he was a great geo. He actually got me my first job working underground in the gold mining industry. And so I just wanted to say, you know, thanks Lane for everything you did for me. And getting this mine up and running again was something that he always had dreams of ever since the 80s. And we spent a long time talking about it, how we'd work it. And so now that I'm in here working it, I was kind of hoping I'd get to talk to him at the end of the season and let him know how it went. And, everything that happened and I missed my chance just just by a few months. So I just wanted to dedicate this video to uh, to Lane and this mining season as well. Thanks again for everything you taught me Lane. All right it's the very last day. My goal here is to get all these sacks, that little pile and this whole mountain. There's two rows there. I got to get those guys all outside under my truck. I think there's about 150 bags. I brought up the big F550 flatbed here. I got four pallets. I think I can fit about 40 bags a pallet. Let's see if this thing can get four tons down the mountain. I got 10 bags in my pile. Now I got to go down the ladder and take each one and put it on the truck. Whoa, well, we got that side cleaned off. Got the first row pretty much taken care of. I've got 80 bags out in the truck here, I'll show you. you can see down there I've got two full pallets. This is a lot of work. If you guys have any suggestions about how to do this better, leave me a comment down below, because I would really like to not do this again next year. Well, that's everything. 152 sacks. I got them all loaded up. The shop's empty. And at 45 pounds average a sack, there's about 6,800 pounds on here. That's a little less than three and a half tons. So let's see if I can get down the mountain. Hopefully this isn't the last year from me. As I mentioned on some previous videos, I sorted out some bigger pieces. Look at that big guy. I can't wait to slab him up. Some over there, I got sacks with bigger pieces in them. Sacks, more sacks. So I've got lots of slabbing to do. Be sure to check the eBay listings if you're interested in buying some of this stuff. We are down at the shop. I've got all the ore from the mine this year sitting right behind me in these bags. I haven't counted exactly. I think there's about 450 or 500 bags. I'm hoping we got about eight tons of material down from the mine that we can process this fall and winter. But there's still a ton of work to do, a lot more videos coming. We've got a lot of gold to get out of this stuff. I've got some specimens to slab up. I've got some pieces I want to cut up and see what they look like. I want to identify where the gold is. I want to smelt some. I want to crush some. So stay tuned for all those videos. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.